Hi, my name is Marcus Bess and I'm a LEGO designer and I build LEGO models for a living. How cool is that? Hey Paul, just in time. Hi there, Marcus. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a graphic designer and I'm all about bringing minifigures to life. As big Ghostbusters fans, we're very excited to show you what we've been working on. This is the Ghostbusters Firehouse headquarters and with over 4,600 bricks, it's the third biggest model we have ever done in LEGO. As iconic as the building might be, this wouldn't be complete with some amazing characters. They are primarily based on the first movie and uh, actually you might be familiar with the four main guys. Initially designed by Adam Corbally and uh, Martin Fink, I took the liberty to sneak in some cool details and bring that novelty that we all go crazy about. For example, they all have updated arm prints and updated backs. But my favorite update is Peter Venkman that gets a slimed outfit and a disgusted face from his uh, encounter with Slimer. Although Slimer might look disgusting, he's a funny looking ghost. We have those some scary ones, like the librarian, taxi driver, and the pink, blue, generic ghosts. Uh, also, we have some supporting characters like Dana Barrett, Louis Tolley, and uh, the funny but always willing to help secretary Janine Melnitz. Also, we included some uh, printed element for you, which would be an updated boombox, a cool brick magazine, generic newspaper with a crimson sky, and a generic one by one star. Deco. But I'm wondering, besides these, what secrets have you kept inside, Marcus? Well, in fact, they must not be really secrets. If you're a Ghostbusters fan, you'll recognize a lot of the little references to both movies. Although the figures are primarily based on the first movie, we saw just too many good things in the second one that we couldn't leave out of this model. Like the messy kitchen with all this food and stuff on the table, like the dancing toaster or Janine's desk with the red button that she presses when they get a phone call. Uh, there's also a lot of small builds that are very fun, like the arcade machine. It's one of the little builds that I had on my desk for a long time, never having the opportunity to use it, and here was the perfect chance. And actually, I will uh, mention a fun detail. Uh, we got the opportunity there to add a Marshmallow Man uh, reference by uh, making him into a splash screen pixel art game. We have a lot more of those artwork details throughout the model. Like for instance, the poster of Manhattan just behind the pool table. And actually shows the, the real location of the model. And as well, a friendly darts game between me and Marcos, where actually I lost yeah, really, big time. really bad, really bad. <laughs> There's a lot more like the cabinets with their name, the name tags, uh, where they can storage their backpacks. There's a toilet, a photo room. But there's one thing that every firehouse should have a sliding pole. Let me show you how cool this is. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff here for you to enjoy and to spend hours building and playing. And we hope you'll enjoy it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs>